All right, I'm gonna show you the pros and cons of header armies off and on. So if you have it on, for example, like you're in a one by one and you're doing a peanut butter on your opponent, you're gonna be unprotected while doing it. So release at it and you're just gonna be unprotected. Unless you're doing this and this is just really inconvenient and you don't know where your opponent is. Unlike with header armies off. If it's an off while you're doing it, you can be protective and like standing with the wall and like hugging the wall. And like you can see your opponent like like this with angles and other things. So that's one for her. Though Edder on release does have one advantage. Is that it's just much faster. And for example, let me show you doing a triple edit with it on. And with with it off. And you can clearly see that it's just much faster with it on. Alright, now I'm gonna show you the pros that have it on and off. For with off, we have pros like polarized. Asian Jeff, Clicks, and more Riley. But with it on, we have people like Booga, Epic Well, Cooper, and Peter Bot. In my opinion, if you if you're a competitive player and you're looking to like play tournaments and other things, you should have it off so you can have that peak advantage. But if you're just a player that like having like playing for fun and playing to be like faster in edits, have it on. So like you know you can just edit fast and other things. That's basically it.